Hello and welcome to another Minecraft Java Snapshot Review. This week we have snapshots 21W05 and 21W06. These were two of the biggest snapshots I've seen in a very long time and the second snapshot is so revolutionary that Minecraft will never be the same. Starting things off in 21W05A we have all of the vegetation that's going to grow in the lush caves biome. They haven't quite been implemented yet but here we have just some of the blocks which will spawn inside there. This is a flowering azalea bush and they will spawn naturally in the lush caves. Same with these and these azalea leaves and of course, oops, flowering azalea leaves. These will spawn on a special type of tree which is above the ground and you can go down the roots and find a lush cave. Speaking of roots, we have this which is rooted dirt and this will spawn underneath the azalea trees you can follow them down and you'll find a lush cave. Here are hanging roots also and they will spawn like this on the bottoms on the inside of the lush caves. These are glow berries and these are a new food source and a new type of vine and a light source. Right click on the glow berry vines to get the glow berries. They can be eaten and all is good. These are small drip leaves and they will spawn underwater in lush caves like this or on top of clay. These will eventually grow into big drip leaves. These are really, really interesting because if you stand on them, they will tilt and you will eventually fall off. This can make for some really, really interesting parkour challenges. They have a really, really interesting mechanic in that if you power them with redstone, they will not tilt. And if they're hit by any projectiles, they will tilt. This is a block of moss and this is a moss carpet. These will generate naturally on the floor and on the walls pretty much everywhere in the lush caves. Moss carpets work the exact same as regular carpets, so you can stack them up, you can put them on the ground, and moss blocks are really just a big decorative version of that. And finally we have the spore blossom. This is a really really nice looking flower that will spawn on the roof of the lush caves. And it drops particles down on you. Now we get to the big stuff. If you have been anywhere online in the last few days, you will know that in the latest snapshot they have made some changes which will change Minecraft forever. If I find a good place to go down, I think here, and I go into spectator mode, we should be able to see that caves have completely changed. Look at this, I'm, I'm entirely submerged. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is enormous. This is my first time seeing this in person, by the way. This is just absolutely ridiculous. It goes down so far, there's diamonds. Look at the size of this. This is just crazy. There's diamonds in the pillar. But this is not the only major change they have made, no sir. If I grab some blocks, you will be able to see that just like everyone has been predicting for so long, there we go, they have indeed increased the build height to 320 blocks. This is mainly down to the fact that they need a lot more room to make the mountains bigger. And really, they've increased the build height to 384, but they've actually taken 64 of those blocks and plonked them at the bottom of the world. So if we just go down all the way through the ground, you should be able to see that now, instead of bedrock being at Y0, bedrock is now at Y minus 64. As you can see, I'm well below Y0 here, and it keeps going. There's the bedrock right there. And there's an abandoned mineshaft right here. Now, I believe Y0 to minus 64 is going to be reserved for the deep dark biome and other stuff that we don't know about yet and everything else is going to spawn above. Now there is some quite complex things about these caves that I'm just going to briefly go over now. This is called a noise cave and it's called a noise cave because it's very big, very noisy, full of noise. This type of cave is known as a cheese cave because of all of the little holes and passages that go out of it. It's like Swiss cheese. This tiny weenie cave is also a noise cave but this is a spaghetti cave. Any noise caves within a certain amount of blocks will always be filled with water like this one. And this is an aquifer cave. 
Now the old caves do still generate. It's very, very difficult to find an old cave now. Oh my goodness. Every single time, it just continues to astound me. Like this is just, this is Minecraft. They've said they are still working on bringing these over to old worlds, but you will be able to play them on old worlds. It's just quite difficult because now the bottom of the world is at Y minus 64 and not Y zero. Imagine this, but with the new biomes too. I am so excited for this update. I can't even tell you how excited I am. Aha, this is something I wanted to find. So this is an abandoned mine shaft that has generated crossing over a noise cave. So the change they made to abandoned mine shafts is that instead of just generating floating, now they have these pillars which go all the way down until they touch the ground. They also made cobwebs float less. They've still said that there's a lot more work to do in these caves. They've still got to sort out the generation of lava. They've still got to sort out the generation of ores. They're not entirely sure what to do yet on those, but I'm sure we'll find out in the coming snapshots. For me, this experience has been absolutely surreal. I never thought I would ever see something like this in my years of playing Minecraft. But it is happening. This is real, and it's coming in the summer. Thank you very much for watching this video. As I said, this has been absolutely ridiculous, and I have no doubt that the next snapshot is going to be just as good as this. I honestly cannot wait to see what else this update has in store for us. This is the update that just keeps on giving. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Goodbye. <laughs>